Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So I'm sitting in a robe today because we're going to go through some of my beauty products. So this is me re-upping on my beauty products, if that makes sense. Um, and I did get something new that I had a sample of maybe a month ago. And... I finally got around to get it the other day because I was outside super early going to Pilates class. I got some stuff from Sephora, so it'll be like a quick little Sephora haul and a Target haul. And guys, something that I needed to replace, and I'll tell you guys a story about that when I get to that product. Um, but my Target stuff, <laughs> and this is not a ton from Target, but just stuff that I needed to replace all together now some of the stuff in this bag I don't even know if I'm gonna show you I don't know maybe I should all right let's get into like things for like my this is so much junk makeup stuff so for the girls who do makeup you guys already know cleaning your brushes I don't have to go through that whole spiel I'm not a makeup guru I don't have every single brush in the world I just use what I need to use to get the little bit of makeup that I use on. And I needed to replace my Real Techniques uh, brush. The last one I had for a while and it just it was just time to replace it. So it does look a little bit different from the first version that I had. And this is what I'm gonna use for my foundation. I've always used this for my foundation. I use a very small amount of foundation. That's because I feel like we don't need a ton of it. <laughs> you only need a little bit just to like spread it all over. Now, as far as the price, let me see how much this brush was. Y'all know I got some old lady eyes, so. So Target is charging $12.99. Wait, which one is $12.99? That might be that one. Yeah, I eat the yeah, that's twelve ninety nine. Cause I got a couple of things from Real Techniques. Oh no. Actually, this was eight ninety nine. This was eight ninety nine. So that's the brush that I got. And I also picked up some more beauty blenders. Now I don't know if you guys are still using these, but I still do. I usually wash them, but recently I cleaned them so well that I started picking apart. <laughs> so I said, let me get some more of these. These are affordable. You guys already have seen these before. Uh, this was, oh, $6.99. Okay, I, know, I see what was $12.99. So I got that. And then I also picked up this, which is new because I didn't have one of these before. And this is the, it's like a powder puff. I have a powder puff, uh, but this one is shaped a little different. And I might do a little bit better with this shape of a powder puff as opposed to the one that I have. And it comes with a little case at the bottom. You guys can't even see because it's so bright. So it's a two-in-one powder puff travel case. So that's the travel case at the bottom. And it looks like the travel case does have a mirror in it. Let's open that up. Um... I can't even get it open. <laughs> Let me see. Can I just? Yeah, it's kind of like. <laughs> okay, let's show you guys. So this is the puff itself. Two different sides to it. One's like a smooth furry, and this is like very, very smooth, the orange side. You can't even see the color. Um, and then it has the case. And the case comes with a mirror, okay? So that's dope. So if you don't have one of these, I'm just gonna stick it inside of there, and it fits perfect. Uh -oh. If it's perfect, if I was traveling. And that was, I think that was $8.99, $6.99. Yeah. All right, so let's get into. So all of those are real sexy. Actually, let me open up these as well. This is ho this haul is kind of all over. <laughs> oh, this opened up a lot easier. 
I'll open it and I can trash the others. Simple brush. It's not like super, it's dense, but it's not like super dense. So I have that. And then I don't technically have to open these because you guys can already see these. And I got two. All right. So also from Target, and these are the things that I use all the time with the exception of that new um, blender, uh, powder puff, now that's new. I'm just trying to try something different. The one that I have does have a different shape. And this is so random, but if you guys are natural, I am natural under this unit, and I love to use the Kinky Curly Not Today. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. I have been using this, oh, let me see. Kinky Curly Not Today. I don't know if you guys know who Kim A Tube is. She has been on YouTube for years. I don't think she still has a channel. But she came out with like a pH balanced homemade hair conditioner and it's mixed with she used this kinky curly knot today aloe vera juice jojoba oil castor oil um i feel like there's one more oil in there and you balance it out so the ph is balanced so when you are putting it on your hair it's going to lay your cuticles flat so that the moisture stays in. If she's still on YouTube, you can definitely just search Kimmy Tubes Leave-In Conditioner. And this is what I use as my base, and aloe vera is like the other large item. So she kind of goes through like the, per, the amount of tablespoons, teaspoons that you need to put in it, but I love this. It has slippery elm in it, so if you have like 4C hair and you need something with slippery elm, this is it. The other item I started using like a few months ago, and I love, because I used to use, I used to use Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie, but they changed something. And then I had this in my house for a while. Can you, I don't know. I should have had my other one. I had this in my house for a while. I had another one. And then I was like, let me try it out. Girls, this is so good. Now this, is $14.99. That daggone conditioner is $13.99. $14 .99. last This lasts me for a while, especially when I am making my conditioner mixed with um, aloe vera juice and like all the other stuff, the oils and stuff. But I really like this Camille Rose um, milk. Like it's really, really good. It smells amazing. But it's been a staple of mine for some time. Well, I, maybe, it'll, well it wasn't even a month ago I started using it. It was a few months now. Um, I just finished it recently. And then the other thing is this deodorant. I don't even know if you guys can freaking see that. Yeah. Okay. This ain't cheap. But I like it. Okay. If you have issues with like stinky arms maybe, you may need to balance out your pH which a lot of people don't realize that they have to do and a good way to do that is just to dab some um, apple cider vinegar under there I would recommend the one with the mother not the cheesy one um, and just dab it under there for a few days it will balance it out if you find that your deodorant is not working for you um, but I actually like this it doesn't have any aluminum in it and doesn't have any parabens so that's the other thing that I got from Target just something a part of my normal everyday buy <laughs> so those are the things that I got from Target now let's get into Sephora so what I got from Sephora that is new, and I had a sample and fell in love. I cannot wait to do a facial tonight and I'll probably record that for you guys. Um, but this is a, a Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna come really, really close. Is it gonna like, come on, man. <laughs> okay, this. Oh my gosh. This is not cheap. This is not cheap, but when I tell you this had all of this looking so fresh and you don't need a lot of it. 
I had a sample of it a few months ago, tried it out and absolutely loved it. Kept forgetting to get it, but like I said, I got outside super early yesterday and I was like, let me pick this up and I love this. If you're looking for a mask that's going to reduce your pores, definitely check out the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. You could now, when you do a mask, make sure you are putting your moisture back in because it takes out everything from your face. And you want to make sure that you're adding that stuff back in. You don't want to have dry skin after. You don't want to wake up ashy, all that good stuff. So check this out. I love it on the strength of the sample that I got. And sometimes when you do get samples, like I usually throw them away, but something told me to try it out and I absolutely love it. So this was 40 mm, $47. Yeah. Came up to $49.82, which is pricey for some. Um, they also have the clay mask. Uh, what's the other one? The, I think it's called Aztec clay mask. I have it. I just hate mixing it up. <laughs> but you can use it for your hair as well. But this one, definitely give this one a try if you're trying to level up your beauty products. Um, we don't need a ton of stuff on our face, but definitely keeping it clean, like super clean and stuff, I would say go for something like that. And the last thing is my new and improved face steamer. You guys already know I had the one from Vanity Planet and that just all of a sudden, never dropped it, never did anything. When I put the water in, it seems fine, no dripping or nothing. When I turn it on, water starts coming from the bottom of the steamer. I have no idea why. At first, I thought possibly I didn't close the top all the way, but that wasn't it, because I tried it the second and third time, same thing. I have no idea, so I decided to get the Dr. Dennis Gross one. This is, not the cheapest okay it's 159 but i wanted to try it out um hopefully i'll have it for a long time i didn't have the vanity planet one long so one thing about steaming is that you don't want to over steam your face my esthetician was like do not over steam your face i'm seeing girls saying that they're steaming their face twice a day that is excessive that's too much so if you don't want to pay 159 try another one I know Amazon has a lot of dupes and stuff or similar ones but let's get into this so it's a pro professional it's a pro facial steamer sauna facial professional style that's what they're saying okay of course it comes like super like fancy and I'm gonna get some water just to show you guys it. Um, it's not bigger. I'm not gonna say it's bigger than the other one. It is shaped different. So it has like this handle here, which I actually really, really like. And then the water dispenser here is in the back, which is a lot easier to pull out than the other one. It's a smaller water thing, but just slide it back in. A on and off button so let me grab some water and show you guys how quickly this steams up I'm not gonna put it I'm gonna put a little bit because I have a makeup but we shall see and then let me see on the front it says settle for dry Child, I can't even see that suitable for dry location oh just tell me where to put it so let me grab some water and I'll be right back all right so I did use water from my water filter <laughs> My water from my water filter? Yeah. I didn't use uh, sink water. We have hard water in Georgia, so I really don't like to um, sing it. So, actually, did I fill it up too much? Mm. Wait a second. Let me see. Is that the line right there? <laughs> Let me put it in. <laughs> let's plug it in. The plug is kind of over there, so hopefully it reaches. Uh, <laughs> we shall see guys oh, so let's see the, it's kind of long alright so we plug it in let's see how long it takes to turning it on blue light 
and let's just see how long it takes. Dr. Dennis Gross, 159 at Safara. Um, I hear it. I hear it. That's pretty quick. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can. Can you guys see? Yeah. That's quick. I'm gonna let it go to see how much steam comes out and kind of go from there. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's turn it off. It works. <laughs> We're good to go. So that's it. That's all I got so uh, for this week. So this is me adding into my skincare routine. Um, I purchased a new one. My old one broke. Everything else is things that I get on a regular basis. So it's just a part of my replenishing my beauty products, my skincare prop, not skincare, hair care products. Um, oh, and skincare because I got this. So that is it, guys. A quick little haul, quick little Sephora haul quick little target haul and me just re-upping on the things that I get on a regular basis for my day-to-day -day care body care skin care and hair care so I hope you guys enjoyed this video quick little haul nothing major I really wanted to show you guys the steamer if you are looking for the steamer I will link it below at Sephora um, and maybe I'll find one that is similar there was a girl on TikTok who had one that was similar but she said that she had it for a long time but she preferred this one. She said she liked the handle and it was something else she said about this part. Um, if I can find it, I'll tell you guys exactly what she said. But this is it and that is the today's quick haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button and following me on Instagram at CocoStylesNYC. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And don't forget to follow my other Instagram page, Coco Styles NY, which is my business page, my style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com, and my personal style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on tickety tickety talk, CocoStylesNYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.